Okay, from the Committee on Parts, Community and Customer Services, again, Councilmember Kobayashi. I move that Committee Report 382 and Resolution 18-265 be adopted. Second. Okay. Urging the administration to expedite the transfer by deed of 400 acres of designated Kalai Loa parklands from the United States to the City and County of Honolulu. Okay, members, we do have some registered speakers. Michelle Matsuo, if not, Lee. Kobian, followed by Alan Yim, followed by Ryan M. Lee, go ahead, come. Thank you, Council. My name is Lee Kobian. I'm in support of 265. I represent the motorsports community of Oahu. I want to stress this resolution is not about building a giant international race complex, but to complete the property transfer of the Navy property to the City Parks and Rec that's been taking about 20 years. And to potentially examine for Motorsports Park existing non-historical post-1945 asphalt airstrips that's on the property. Historically, sports car racing started in the 1940s on military airfields. A lot of people don't realize that. The motorsports community in Oahu is discriminated. Those who oppose the motorsports park and the sport, they hate it. And they also despise the people who like motorsports. They perceive us as hoodlums and troublemakers, and it's a total, it's a sad fact. Uh, sure, we're a little rambunctious, but so are soccer fans. I see them tear down stadiums with their bare hands. <laughs> Parks and Rec's position on this is when the property gets transferred, the fair thing to do is to open a chance for people to have more ball fields. We have hundreds of facilities on Oahu for baseball, soccer, football, golf, Oh, tennis, swimming pools, dog parks, volleyball uh, courts, skateboards, parks, hiking trails, and noisy shooting ranges. All paid by subsidized by taxpayers. And not one racetrack on Oahu, just like all the other neighbor islands have under their parks and recs. This is not fair. This is more than discrimination. What we call, and it's a joke, we call it racism. Discrimination against racers. <laughs> so please. Um, support 265 and exploring the potential of having a motorsports park. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Members, any questions? First, we are in discussion. Any discussion, members? Council member, Vice Chair Pine, go ahead. Vice Chair Pine, go ahead. Uh, in support of the resolution, I did not introduce this resolution, but I certainly support the council member from Manoa, who has a lot more experience than all of us. But I've become the center of this discussion since this is my district. Uh, I, there was a lot of media reports that the the resolution specifically says that this allows a racetrack. It does not. It is more in a general terms in the position of the council that we have left these 400 acres gone to a great opportunity for a sports complex. And that is certainly what I support. Other questions? Yes. I just Councilman. want to make sure if you are going to hire a consultant that you hire a local consultant. Yes. Um, and I'll give you some examples. Um, Mayor Harris, Harris did originally come up with the idea during his administration to have a sports complex at this very area. Mm -hmm. There's already renderings and work that was already done. And um, that former staff member is now with an engineering firm. And so uh, we are already in discussions. I hope you include me since it's in my district. Correct. We will. And we already have all the plans and, and everything uh, regarding that area. And I think you probably save a year, okay. especially if you hire the person that worked on it, or, or at least a company that is familiar with the area and the discussions that happened in the community in the past. I'll bring that up to at our next meeting to see who has the documents and we can look at that as I can well. give it to you. Okay. I have a lot of information <laughs> yeah, okay, that right. can yeah, save okay. you about a year. All right. Yeah. We appreciate that. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. And actually, I don't think we even need to hire anybody.
I certainly um, want to ease the concerns of my own constituents that are concerned about a possible racetrack in this area. Uh, know that a lot more discussion needs to take place should that definitely be decided and targeted. However, in general, I do support a racetrack on Oahu, and I do know that the Kailua area is perhaps the best place for it that's safe, and perhaps we can find a location that is away from uh, residential areas. I do understand a need for a facility that helps University of Hawaii in their engineering pursuits. It's a shame that we have one of the top engineering teams for for assembling of our engines and cars and they had to practice in a parking lot and hopefully not crash into something on the other side. But despite that, they still are one of the top engineering teams in the nation. That is something to be proud of. I personally believe that the city can no longer afford new things. And I also personally believe and why I introduced Bill 78 two years ago that there are so many opportunities for the private sector and nonprofits to partner to have a world-class sports complex. I am still awaiting the administration to implement the city sponsorship bill. Other cities across the nation have raised hundreds of millions of dollars for the city. We can no longer look to the taxpayer for things like this when we have so many other opportunities. So I. hope that we finally can transfer these 400 acres that's in my district. I know that we have many opportunities to find agreement for what that land can be used for without taxpayer contribution. Thank you. Any further discussion members? No further discussion members, any objections or reservations? Noting none, Committee Report 382 and Resolution 18-265 has been adopted. From the Committee on Planning, Councilmember Fukunaga.